Hello everyone today, we are going to talk about a horror drama film called Into the Dark Down from 2019. Enjoy your viewing, Jennifer is working late into the evening, she can't seem to turn off her laptop, she wants to write to her ex-boyfriend who is leaving for New York tomorrow, but she doesn't dare to do it eventually, when the last person in the office leaves Jennifer turns off her laptop without. Sending the email she takes the gift she bought for Derek, her purse and her phone. She walks to the elevator, meanwhile, Guy is in a hurry to leave the office building, he runs to the restroom and then goes to. Oh, the elevator guy works on the 42 end floor, and Jennifer works on the 49th floor. They press the elevator call button. Almost simultaneously Jennifer entered the elevator first, and then the elevator opened on Guy's floor. They exchanged short phrases on the way down the guy shows. Jennifer, a strange drawing on one of the elevator walls, it depicts a man in a box who cannot get out as soon as the elevator goes down to the basement. The car stops abruptly Guy and Jennifer are surprised they try to call Fett or help but no one answers the cell phones in the basement. Don't work either. It's a long weekend ahead, and it's Valentine's Day if they don't get out of the elevator today. They'll be stuck here for days, Jennifer is nervous, because she has a plane to catch after discussing the situation they both. Realize that no one will be looking for them, which means they will have to get out on their own. The boy tries to open the door, but nothing happens. They take turns trying to lift the ceiling panels, but it doesn't save them at this point, Guy and Jennifer resign themselves to their situation and decided to just wait Jennifer is thirsty, and Guy offers her his water or the wine he brought from the office. After a short argument Jennifer agrees to water, she drinks it, and after a while she has to go to. The bathroom it's been 4 hours in the elevator, and she's still uncomfortable doing it in front of a stranger, the guy offers her to use the thermos in her bag to defecate Jennifer resists, but gives in. The guy promises not to peek, they talk about nothing, and throw away the candy that Jennifer brought with her from the office, eventually realizing that life hasn't worked out for them up to this point, the boyfriend and girlfriend decide to open a bottle of wine and cheer themselves up Jenner, and guy have a corkscrew in their bags, they open the bottle drink and share stories from their lives, when the bottle was empty, they found something else to do, they took out sheets of paper and pens from them. Hire briefcases, and started drawing each other the boy said he had seen Jennifer several times in this house, and that he liked her the guy is very nice, he is attentive caring sweet, and Jennifer likes him more and more, their warm conversation is interrupted by a random noise outside they think it's it. Security checking the building however, no one answers their cries as before, Guy's drawing was quite neat, but Jennifer drew her companion in an elevator with fangs and a bottle in his hands, she wanted to make a joke, but was suddenly afraid the guy might be offended, Guy was not offended, he even liked the caricature Jennifer, took out her phone to take a picture of Guy's drawing she promised him, that if they got out of here alive, she would put it on her social media avatar, then they discussed what they would like to eat now, their stomachs are already hurting from hunger, after that, they take a selfie the guy suggests discussing something interesting, so they don't just sit there, the guy suggests talking. Not a lot hot topics, Jennifer agrees to talk, but wants to make the conversation more interesting the phone she was holding in her hands, gave her an idea she turns on the camera, starts recording, and asks Guy about the most unusual place where he has made love the guy is confused, and then Jenner. Takes the initiative she tells him about her adventures in the library, and points the camera back at Guy Guy, admits that nothing like this has ever happened to him in his life, Jennifer asks him to come up. With a story and Guy tells a story about a car ride with a girl they both like this story, and a spark flashes between them. Jennifer and Guy start kissing, they take off their clothes and make love on the floor of the elevator, when they finish Guy admits that he is ready to fall in love with. Jennifer the girl pulls away from him, Guy asks her about it, and Jennifer admits that she was going to fly to New York to see her ex-boyfriend, she still loves him, and wants to make up with him, and with Guy the I just had a random, interesting experience, the guy is upset. He is convinced that nothing will happen between him and Jennifer. He decides to be honest, he tells her that their meeting in the elevator was no accident. And his name is not Guy, he works as a security guard in the building, he says he has seen Jennifer many times before, and wanted to get to know her, but she didn't pay attention to a regular security guard. So he decided to have their adventure in the elevator, the guy's name is actually Joe. He and he has a key with him to lock the elevator when Jennifer sees him. She tries to take the key away, they fight the key breaks, and Jennifer manages to knock John out for a while. But he quickly regained consciousness, and hit Jennifer so hard that she lost consciousness when Jennifer came to John. Turned into a real psychopath, he rushed around the elevator, opened Jennifer's gifts for Derek, in a fit of jealousy, put on a shirt, and smoked a cigar Jennifer is scared to death. But she can't help it since then. Hey, broke the key, they will have to sit here until they are found the guy, must be tired of threatening Jennifer John, notices that the ceiling panel is not bolted down, which means it can be knocked out, he climbs upstairs, knocks out the panel and is about to climb up the shaft for help, he asks her to hold him under the ceiling to make it easier to climb, but Jennifer says she doesn't have the strength she promises him, that she won't call the police and will come back for him if John lifts her to the 
Ceiling John gives in, but as soon as he gets up there, Jennifer yells at the guard and runs up the stairs to the exit. John is furious. He makes a rope out of his clothes, throws it over the beam at the top, and gets out he promises to do bad things to Jenner. When he catches up with her, the girl crawls in a panic to the closed door before she can get out. John catches up with her. He throws the girl to the ground, but falls after her when Jennifer regains consciousness. She notices the fire extinguished. E system. She starts a fire in the lid of her thermos, using paper that fell out of her bags. Suddenly, John regains consciousness he has injured his back, but can still move in attempt to attract the attention of firefighters. Was unsuccessful. The fire extinguishing system supplied water and the fire. When Al Jennifer and John are fighting again, the girl manages to tie the boy's hands and feet. She wants to do something bad to him, but then she comes up with a better idea she films herself and John on camera and makes him confess that he held her down in the elevator, she does this so that she can show the tape to the police later John confesses because he doesn't want to lose a part of his body. He also says that he used to be a businessman, this story about the girl is true only that day they got into a car accident, the girl died, and he had to serve six months in prison. After prison he was not hired anywhere, so he got a job in security where he met Jennifer, he liked her immediately, he missed her. Few female attention he received when he was in a good position, John knew that the girl he was watching would never be with a simple security guard, that's why he made up the whole elevator story. While John was telling all this a mustachioed man with his girlfriend came into the building John sent him home saying that he would take his place on duty. John said the same thing to the third guard, but his partner wanted to show off to his girlfriend and take her to the roof of the building, however he felt. Out no one at the front gate John wasn't in the locker room either. Then he looked at the elevator's surveillance camera, it was a mess with John and Jennifer lying bloody in the middle of it. John's partner contacts him on the intercom and promises to come to the rescue his girlfriend is over. Already sitting on the couch in the hall, almost asleep, the man finds the right door opens it and throws the key inside John throws Jennifer against the wall with his foot and says the key doesn't fit, he asks his partner to get inside and see what's wrong halfway to the elevator. John starts the mechanism killing his partner. John knocks Jennifer out. He throws his partner's body into the elevator shaft and then carries Jennifer's body to the car. The man goes to the security desk and deletes all the security art. Footage, suddenly he finds his partner's girlfriend does bad things to her and then throws her down the elevator shaft. John changes his clothes and erases the traces of the crime he gets in his car and drives to the dumpster here. He pours a can of gasoline into the trash and then talks to Jennifer through the trunk lid. The girl doesn't answer so John opens the trunk he realizes that the girl is not breathing John relaxes and goes to the trunk to throw away her purse at that moment Jenner attacks. From behind she hits her captor with a gasoline can, gets in the car and drives away suddenly at the end of the alley. She stops the car John is surprised but decides to take advantage of the situation. He's already walking to the car but sees Jennifer coming back. She picks up speed and is ready to ram the kidnapper. The alley is narrow and Joan has nowhere to go. At the last moment, before the collision, he jumps into a trash can. Jennifer crashes into the trash can, drives away, and gets out of the car. To see what happened to Joan, he is injured and unable to move. He is lying among the garbage, covered in gasoline. Jennifer takes out a cigar. In a lighter, she lights and lights the cigar. Looks at John for a long time. He realizes that he's about to get very sick. Jennifer walks away from the trash can. She holds the cigarette in her hand and stops she throws the cigarette into the gasoline. At this point a fire erupts consuming the dumpster and every